Hello again, everybody, and welcome back to Dragon Warrior 1 Part, uh, I'd like to say 4. Anyway, uh, let's get started. Oh boy, I'll be getting the, uh, Silver Shield in this video, which is approximately 14,000 if I remember right. And well, since I saved up about uh, 9,000 in the last one, uh, yeah, that should be pretty good. Anyway, until you can get about 14,000, I highly suggest trying to stay up north where the gold men and uh, wolf lords and race and such are to grind. Because you'll be wanting to be a pretty high level, I I'd say at least level 15 before you go down south. Unless you uh, happen to be very lucky and uh, can run from most of the enemies down there. Which is entirely possible and I could probably manage it, but uh, I'm not going to bother until I have about 14,000. Anyway, uh, if you are running to Mercedal, make sure you have the Pixie Flute. You will be needing it. Because uh, there's one... The, the town that I'm talking about actually uh, has a guardian named uh, the Golem. And uh, that thing does a lot of damage. And uh, you're... Uh, you want to use the pixie flute to make it go to sleep because seriously, uh, you try fighting that thing when it's uh, just awake and uh, lots of luck to you, it's going to murder you. I mean, that's yeah, one of the highest attack powers in the game. I mean, probably the only thing that does have the... Uh, more, more attack than that is the main boss. Thankfully, it can't cast any spells, but uh, just its physical attack alone is more than enough for to take you out in two or three hits if you're uh, if you aren't using sweeping tactics. Again, with the magic armor, you should just be able to walk up whatever damage you take off. I'm hoping for more experience-oriented uh, enemies, more than anything. Because seriously, I, you, you need to be at bare minimum to beat the game. This is assuming you get very lucky, the uh, main boss that misses a lot, and uh, you get a lot of critical hits as uh, level 17. Now then, the main reason why I say level 17 is because uh, at that point you get the Heal More spell, which is pretty essential for beating this game. Because seriously, you will be needing the Heal More spell to beat this game. Unless you're using cheats or uh, you somehow get insanely lucky and... Uh, Dodge a lot of attacks and and the uh, and get a lot of critical hits. Okay, about eleven thousand.
Now then, if you are trying to go down to Mercedal, make sure you have enough herbs for the trip because, uh, yeah, you may want to be saving your spells to heal as well. Especially if you're running because, uh, seriously, they do a lot of damage down there. Most of them really shouldn't be that bad, but, uh, if you run into something called a Star Wyvern, be very careful because uh, those things can cast Teal more. It pretty much gives them full health back. And they do a lot of damage and they can spit fire at you. Well, hopefully they spit fire more than actually physical attacks because, well, as far as I know, I'm pretty sure that the fire attack is actually less damage than the uh, physical attack they do. Anyway, I very much doubt I'll actually run into uh, any of these types of monsters, but I will bring them up. Hopefully I uh, get to see one of them when going through there. But, uh, Mel Swine. They give the best experience in the game. Well, second best in this version. Uh, because, you see, in this version, the Golem actually gives 2,500 uh, experience. And, uh, and the NES version, I think it only gives something like 10 experience. Which well, is a bit of a downer, but uh, it should be easy enough if you got the Pixies full. Yeah, there's really no way to kill a male slime effectively unless you get a critical hit. Okay. About 3,000 more. Because, uh, male slimes, they have, uh, high agility, they have a horrible tendency of running, and, uh, uh, actually, I should bring that up. There is one tactic that is uh, very effective uh, about getting rid of them. The main problem is that they actually have to stay for three turns. Which, well, for the most part, mouse swimes sort of run the instant they see you. Or at least they try to. It's either that or they'll cast... Uh, Try hitting you physically or cast fireball and or hurt on the NES version. If you do manage to kill him in this version, I think you get something like, uh, I'd like to say 410 experience. It might be even more than that, but uh, I know it's a lot of experience. That's assuming you can kill one. Yeah, the main problem with that Mel Swine tactic is uh, the fact you gotta have uh, pretty much your whole inventory full of torches and use a torch on uh, the swine. Three, three uh, torches on each slime to kill it. Because you see, torches actually do a constant one damage. I don't know what else to say, uh, other than it's just gonna be grinding.
Yeah, I'd probably be doing birdies with the steel sword. Seriously, it's a lot easier going through with a weapon than without. Especially in uh, some of the later parts because mo most of the enemies are actually in unaffected by uh, magic. Or, well, I should say potentially, because you see, sometimes it'll work and sometimes it won't. So, you got a 50-50 chance of it working or not. As I said, uh, it should only take about two to three turns to kill most things unless they heal. Okay, almost 14,000. Of course, getting some more wouldn't really be that bad of an idea, but... Uh, yeah, how about five more fights? That should be a nice round number. That should get me to... 14,000 anyway. Yeah, I kind of figured I'd run into uh, some more goldmen. Okay, three more. Level 14, that's a plus. One more. Yeah, 20. That yeah, should take about two hits now. Alright, well, make sure that uh, you have full health before you try moving down south because there are some very powerful monsters here. That being said, as soon as you heal, go south. I would always suggest just ignoring a hawk in this for the time being. Anyway, this is one of the first monsters that may be unaffected by... Uh, Spells. That being said, be very careful. Anyway, around this area is where the metal swines may appear. The so south part of uh, this area and... Uh,
in the south part of this uh, forested area. But uh, once you get further north, you run into druid wards and uh, werewolves and such. Yeah, sometimes you may run into a magi waver, and hopefully you can put them to sleep. Because Magi Wavern can actually cast a sweep spell. Again, Arm Knights are capable of casting stop spells. Alright, as I said in the northern part, you may run into a uh, stronger stuff. Yeah, this is one of the ones I was talking about, the Star Wyvern. Just put it to sleep and hopefully you can feed it before it uh, heals, which it has a horrible tendency of doing. Just having uh, max HP for this next boss, this next fight. Anyway, uh, if you're playing the NES, uh, th this guy won't appear. It's actually gonna be right in the middle of the wall. It it's not actually gonna show up until you run into it. Anyway, make sure you have your pixie food and and w either walk into the wall or talk to. It. Use the pixie fruit immediately. And always watch for the uh, message is. Because while well, the instant wakes up, you gotta use it again. Ho hopefully you get the first strike. Because this thing can hit hard. I hope it doesn't demonstrate how hard it can hit, but we'll see. The pixie fluid always works for this monster. Of course, if it doesn't, uh, it, it hits very hard. Just, just whatever you do, make sure you use the pixie fluid when it wakes up. This thing's got a lot of health. It's borderline impossible to actually beat this thing without using the pixie fool. As far as I know, the sweep spell doesn't actually work on it. It's a good thing you can use the Pixie Food Infinite Times. Okay, level 15. Alright. Well, I should have, yeah, I think I have more than enough. Anyway, make sure you have at least one key. And uh, go for a wheel. Alright, yes, I refill on keys, if you can. 
such as this guy, so whatever uh, piece of equipment you're going to be replacing. And buy the silver shield, which should increase it by uh, 10 more than the iron one. Now then, the flame sword it can actually be used as a weapon, and uh, you can also use it as a tool, which casts fireball. Of course, uh, by the time you get it, it's sort of uh, pointless since you can already cast fireball and you're going to be able to hit harder. That being said, there's really uh, no point in getting the flame sword for uh, fireball purposes. Of course, it does hit harder, which has a plus. Anyway, uh, check this one for a uh, mystic nut. Well, let's see here. I guess I don't need that. Alright, free MP, well that's good. Make sure you go to the end and check the drawer because uh, you'll get another defense seed. Which constantly gives you a four guard, which increases your defense pretty good. Anyway, go to the end. Buy whatever uh, items you need. Uh, if I remember right, I don't think you can actually buy herbs in this uh, town. Can you? No, I guess not. Not in that store anyway. I uh, may uh, one of these ones here. Yeah, that other store is actually for fairy water, which casts a repel spell. That can be pretty useful if you're uh, going through uh, low-level areas. Anyway, uh, if you are going to grind here, just make sure you stick inside the wall. That way, uh, if something does go wrong, you're only uh, one step away from safety. I should also mention, uh, if you do use physical attacks, uh, one or two laps around the town with the magic armor, or, uh, Waddle's armor usually, uh, refills your HP, so if you're using physical attacks and, uh, you don't want to go to an end, then you can just sort of do that. Yeah, hopefully the dragons sort of stick with uh, their fire breath attack. I'm gonna guess uh, 12,000. Well, apparently the sweep spell doesn't work too well on dragons. Again, hopefully they stick with their fire breath attack.
Yeah, I think that'd probably be a better idea. Let's see here. Since I got the silver shield anyway. Uh, I think I'll train one of those um, male swines I was talking about a rat. Because with the male shield, uh, shadow warriors and the bone knight shouldn't be much of a problem. Especially with that uh, plus seven strength upgrade I just got. That should really help for fighting things like that. I will say it's a bit of a jump between fighting skeletons to fighting things like warforged and goldmen. Yeah, you always gotta watch where exactly you are. Because you walk into the wrong spot, you're gonna be fighting some uh, over level stuff. Anyway, I'll just go ahead and make this an hour long episode. Because, well, it's gonna be more or less just grinding. Anyway, uh, if you are going to Hawkness to, uh, kill, kill the, uh, Mad Knight, be very careful because, uh, that thing hits hard and can cast a sweep spell. Not to mention, uh, there's a lot of high level things like green dragons, star wyverns, and werewolves there. Yeah, surrounding the area in the first place. I probably should have refilled on uh, herbs, but uh, well, I'll probably run into a few metal swines. I guess I can beat them in two hits. Yeah, this is what I'm talking about, metalies. They have a horrible tendency of running. That being said, uh, and once you get a critical hit in the first strike, uh, yeah, you're probably not gonna kill them. Of course, if you do, you get a lot of experience out of it, but, uh, other than that... Yeah, supposedly, uh, Shadow Knights have the less what? Have a lower chance of actually hitting you, but, uh, I've never actually seen that. I 
mean, they always seem to have me a watch for some reason. Don't bother trying to cast any spells on Shadow Warriors either. They're just unaffected by... by them, and well... They don't actually have any spells, so don't bother casting stop spell on. They may run into some magi wavers again. Uh, they cast a sweep spell. Which really shouldn't be much of a problem unless it works. In which case, yeah, they hit, uh, you know, a lot. During the time you're asleep. Not to mention they, uh, can't already know when you're gonna wake up, so they automatically cast a sweep spell again after you wake up as soon as uh, it gets done. Of course, it's nowhere near as bad as uh, trying to solo the third one, because uh, boy, that, that's just difficult, and I'll get to that later. It's possible to do more than one damage on a map if you're level 30 with the best equipment. Uh, apparently, it's 775 experience, more than I thought. If you can put wavelengths like this to sleep, it's really highly advisable. Well, 23 MP, that's a plus. I guess it was level 18 you get the uh, Firebane spell. I always thought it was lower for some reason. I guess because when you get to level 17, you get the Heal More spell. I guess that was 13,000 uh, to level up with. Uh, I'm gonna guess 17,000 for the next one. Seriously, uh, all this level I have personally done a uh, no weapon playthrough at is level 23. 
That being said, I would highly suggest just getting to level 23 before trying to beat the game. And that, even then, I remember running out of uh, Heal More spells at level 23, and it, it was a close fight. I even had uh, full MP and full HP by the time I got to the boss. Which can be pretty difficult to do, seeing as uh, he has some pretty high-level guards. Yeah, I might actually be able to get the uh, Waddle's armor at the end of this video. We'll see, though. Because I really wouldn't recommend it unless you have the Firebane spell if you're doing no weapon. Because, uh, unless the Sweep spell works, which, well, uh, for that enemy, uh, it very rarely works. It's probably gonna be fatal if uh, you can't cast a, a sweet spell on that thing successfully. Everything does a lot less damage with a silver shield. Still got heal every so often, but uh, other than that, shouldn't be much of a problem. I'm missing an awful lot today. Yeah, that would be horrible if a stop spell worked on you in the field. Oh yeah, that, that's another thing about the NES version that changed uh, when they made this version. On the NES version, uh, you can actually cast any spell uh, anywhere. Such as the... Uh, you can cast the Hurt spell in, in, on the field, uh, but uh, let me warn you, it will use the MP, but it will not actually have any uh, effect other than you losing MP. That being said, I would highly suggest avoiding uh, casting, mis-casting spells like that. Especially uh, Hurt more, because that just drains your MP fast. Well, 
haven't actually seen any rogue scorpions yet, have I? Oh well, those ones have a uh, very high defense, but uh, casting two fireballs should be enough to kill them. Almost 16,000. Wonder if my guess is 17,000 is right. Because as I said, uh, I know it levels off after I think it was level 20. And a constant, I think it was 3,000. Yeah, I know it may seem like those bone knights aren't doing too much, but the, the higher level stuff certainly does more than that. They're able to do. Yeah, the sweep spell is capable of working for anywhere from, uh, I'd like to say one to six turns. Because I, I know on the NES version it takes uh, quite a while for the enemies to wake up sometimes. I think that's another thing they changed about this version. Uh, I think on the NES version, if I... Uh, something to sleep and it wakes up, they actually attack immediately after waking up, which is a big problem. Especially since sometimes the message uh, go, goes to the sleeping monster first, uh, when you just put them to sleep and you, you gotta heal yourself and they, they wake up and attack before uh, you can heal, that can be a problem. Okay, I'd say about 900 more. It's too bad after you buy uh, the silver shield and pretty much all you really got to save up for is the fire sword and well, really you don't need the fire sword at all. A lot of people usually just skip it and get the waddle sword uh, as soon as they can. Which I will go through how to get the uh, Waddle Sword, I just won't be using it. At all. Because I can deal with them with my fist. Yeah, 
Alright, 400. And the heal more spell. Yeah, that this spell is probably the best overall in the game. Now then, uh, normally I would highly suggest uh, waiting until you get the Firebane spell for this, but uh, since I'm starting to run short on time, I guess I should uh, go back to Town Hill and... Uh, Try dealing with the Mad Knight. I would highly suggest uh, waiting until you have about 30 health before you uh, get the heal for spell. problem there. You know, come to think of that, man, I should get the auto sale first. Nah, I, I think it'd be better if I uh, got the wild armor first. Because the wild armor has a uh, extra passive effect that the magic armor doesn't. Which I'll explain as soon as I uh, get it. I haven't actually run into any werewolves yet. That's quite surprising, and I haven't actually seen any uh, druin wards yet. Yeah, as I said, these shell knights sort of have a horrible tendency of dodging. Yeah, I guess I still do have an extra item space. Make sure you have an inventory space. Because you'll be needing it to uh, carry the uh, auto's armor.
Anyway, I would highly suggest having the best uh, defensive equipment possible before trying to deal with this guy because uh, the Mad Knight does a lot of damage. I'm pretty sure it's called the Mad Knight in this one, isn't it? I know on the Dragon Ball Warrior Monsters it is. Anyway, uh, back behind this door, as soon as you get into the uh, swamp right, right in front of me, uh, you fight the Mad Knight. Now then, with the Heal More spell, uh, it shouldn't be much of a problem. Just hopefully, uh, you don't get the Sweep spell cast on you successfully. After about two hits, I'd highly suggest uh, healing. Because this guy hits very hard. Not as hard as Golem, but still very hard. Anyway, walk up, walk underfoot, and get the Waddle's armor. I would highly suggest you equip this immediately. Now then, uh, the Wild's Armor has uh, an extra passive effect being uh, the swamp and barrier squares that usually hurt you, won't hurt you anymore. And uh, every step you take actually heals you by one. That being said, the Wild's Armor is the best armor in this game. I guess it also reduces the amount of breath damage uh, enemies do to you. Anyway, leave that town and uh, now grinding should be a lot easier since the game one every one step instead of every two. Not to mention uh, swamp areas aren't actually gonna hurt you. That being said, uh, getting the auto seal shouldn't be any problem. Yeah, it's kind of random uh, whenever you're supposed to get a critical hit. I have no idea how exactly that's calculated in this game. Yeah, I'm gonna guess 20,000. Anyway. I guess all gold's really good for her right now is uh, is buying herbs and possibly buying the fire sword if uh, I haven't alright. Anyway, uh, yeah. Uh, let's see here. I know it was one of these squares around here. Just sort of uh, mass check all of them. Oh, that's right, and make sure you have an extra inventory space. Uh, I probably don't need the magic armor, and I very much doubt I'll need any extra gold. Now then, if you don't want to do this, you can actually uh, go to Mercedal, open the open the door to the southern area, and uh, go through a whole bunch of barrier tiles uh, to get some coordinates. And what those coordinates tell you is where the uh, where the seal is, based on. Uh, 
how far it is from the main castle. Because, uh, I know I didn't actually bring this up, but, uh, you do get, uh, let's see here, what is it? War is Love, I think it is. And, uh, if you use that item, you can actually, uh, it actually tells you how much, uh, experience is needed for the next level up and the, uh, coordinates of where you are relevant to the main castle. Yeah, that's our wavering where I don't want to die. Easy. I should be able to make it back to Mercedal. Let's see here, 17. Well, I think that's four levels up I got this round, isn't it? Isn't it? I, I think that's right. That's a lot better than the uh, last time where I only got one level up. Anyway... Okay, well I guess I'm going to leave this video here. Uh, that being said, I hope everybody's enjoying this series and everybody have a good day!